Let's take a look at formulas using words. Now this sounds quite complicated, but it's actually really easy and most of it's common sense. So don't overthink questions like this. And um, I'm often telling my students that they need to take off their maths hats and put on their common sense hats, because a lot of my students always think that maths is much more complicated than it actually mm -hmm. is. So Beth needs a tiler to tile her kitchen. The tiler charges a one-off fee of 80 pounds. So that means however long the tiler is doing the job, whether it's one second or two weeks, he's gonna charge that 80 pounds regardless. And he also charges 30 pounds per hour. So Beth's being charged the 80, and she's also gonna be charged uh, 30 pounds times seven, which is 210. So 210 plus the 80, she's gonna be paying the 290. Again, this next question is quite easy, but very easy to get it wrong. Uh, we need to be careful that things like each way. So two adults, three children, it's 80 pounds per adult each way. So that means it's 160 return. So it's two times the return flight for adults. That's what I mean by the formula using words, you know, return flights for adults, two times 160 and three times not 45 because 45 is just the single so three times 90 is 20 pounds each way for a baggage so that's going to be 40 pounds return so they've got three bags so that's three 40s and they're doing the speedy boarding which is 10 pounds per flight so five times 10 but there's two flights so that's going to be 10 times 10 which is quite handy so that's 100 pounds for the uh, speedy boarding. So two times 160 is 320, three 90s are 270, three times 40 is 120, and we've also got the 100. So let's just combine these two straight away. 590 plus 220 comes to five, six, seven, eight, a total of 810 pounds. Um, this one was probably a bit more complicated. There's quite a few things to factor in, but it's again, just being logical, making sure you've understood that it's each way, uh, so singles, not returns for those prices.